all right welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a request my mom actually sent me this picture and requested me to recreate this hanging basket right here so i got to work i'm going to show you how i what i did don't forget to like the video this really helped my channel grow if you like crafting you can subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell so every time i upload a new video you get a notification now without any more delay let's get started Okay, so we're gonna grab all 16 strands and put it through the loop. Give it about two to three inches. Then you're gonna grab another strand and this is the way I was shown to measure yards is the end of your hand to your shoulder. That will be one yard. So I did two and a half for this one. gonna do a loop and as you can see we're gonna put the that little strand right here and you're gonna pull it up far enough so we it doesn't get mixed with what we're doing and we're just gonna wrap it around Okay, so now we're done going around. We're gonna pass this little tail through the loop. And then we're gonna pull on it onto what's left over disappears. Make sure it's secure and tight. And then we're go I'm gonna pull down and cut. And then whatever is you can see you can roll a little bit the string on the top up and it will cover it up nicely so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate four strands per leg Okay, so now we're gonna create our crown knot. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna grab the first leg and the second leg. I'm gonna always keep a hold of the first leg like you see me holding it right here. It's gonna go over the second leg. I'm gonna separate, grab the tail off the first one and hold it on the same hand that I'm holding the first knot that I made. And we're gonna repeat the same process with the next one. So I'm gonna grab number two, pass it over number three. Then we're gonna repeat the same thing with number four. We're gonna grab number three over number four. And this is when think it when it's gonna get tricky. You're gonna put that number four through number one. And you just now grab them all at the same time and pull them together, making the knot tight enough. Make sure you pull each one if you see one kind of loose until you get it right. And we're going to repeat this knot a total of 20 times. So I went to freemarkmadepatterns.com to find what knots that it could look exactly like the basket I showed you at the beginning. So I would put that on the link down below in the description. So if you guys have any questions, it will show you how to do it step by step. Or if you're more of a visual learner, you can always go to... There's one YouTuber that I really like. Her name is Cuban Curls and i will put her page up on the right and the other one is macrame school they do show how to make some of the knot uh, all kinds of different knots and they're a really good reference to go back and look into it
Okay, so now we're gonna create the half square knots. So you can see I'm grabbing two of the legs. So I have a total right now of eight strings on my hands. So I'm gonna grab the last two from each side and I'm gonna keep I'm gonna be using the four that I got left. The way you do the half square knot is gonna be all either all right or all left. I normally like to do left, and this is gonna create that spiral type of knot. So just a quick refresher, how we do a half square knot is we're going to grab the four strands, we're going to grab, use the left and the right. The two center ones are going to always stay in the same place. So I'm going to do my left as a four, pass my right over and through, and then tighten it. Okay, when it comes down to how tight this knot is going to be, it's not going to be really, really tight. If you notice that you're doing them and they're not spiraling, is either one or two things or not spiraling as much this is the one or two things you're doing a, ha a square knot that you forgot and you just kept doing left and right or you're just tightening it too much so it has to be a tight it had to be tight but not really like shoestring tight Okay, so I'm done with my 65 and then now we're going to do the berry knot that is pretty much two square knots and then we just loop it through the top and make it into a berry. So I'm going to leave a little bit of a space because the first time I did that I forgot to do that and then when I went to loop it through it became a problem. I end up loosening it up and redoing it again. You're going to leave a little bit of space and you're going to start your square knot. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to leave a little bit of space. And... I'm going to start this time from right to left, so I'm going to grab my right cord, put it over the two, grab my left, go over the right, and under the two, and through the loop. And now I'm going to switch it up to the left, and do the same process. We're going to do this two stitches one more time, or two knots one more time, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, so now I'm going to grab the center strands and I'm going to put it through in between where I lift that gap. So what this is going to create is the berry. So just pull it a little bit. 
and you're gonna be left with these two strands on the side you're just gonna wrap them around and start your half square knots again you could also skip this step completely and use the beat that actually looks even prettier but at the time I really didn't feel like looking for mine and I ended up looking for them anyways but yes this is the route I decided to go through you don't have to actually you do this knot you can just skip it and use a beat So you just resume with this half square knots again I'm gonna do 45 for this one I wanted this basket to be this long it doesn't necessarily have to be this long it's up to you what you want and how you want it just a quick reminder if you haven't yet don't forget to like the video I'm done after my 45 we're just gonna go ahead and push this aside we're done completely with this leg we're gonna start on the other one so i'm gonna push that aside i'm gonna grab my next two that i have on hanging on the side and i'm gonna grab two more strands out of the next leg then i'm gonna grab the two that i got left over from that leg and hang it we're gonna repeat the same process again three more times so we're just gonna skip to the next phase Okay, so after you're done creating your legs, total of four, we're gonna leave, we're gonna measure our with our pot the length that we wanna start our first union, our first knot. So you wanna get to maybe about half the pot size that you're gonna use for this one. I left about a good five to six inches of length and you're gonna create your square knot. Like you've seen, like I did previously, I'm going to grab in between the two legs. So I grab leg number one and leg number two, keep the two center, the uh, two center ones, and push to the side the next two. As you can see, I'm done with those legs, so we're going to repeat the same process for the next three legs. Okay, so now I'm done with all four legs. This is what we got. Now I'm gonna leave about 
four to five inches and repeat the same process that I just did. So we're gonna grab each leg, I want two out of each leg and start our, our square knots. So we're gonna grab everything that we got left over. Make sure everything lines up before you do that. This is shortest one, so I'm gonna stop it right there. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing as we did on the top. Same thing, create a loop longer. Just got done finishing the basket just like you saw earlier I put it on the pot that I'm gonna use for it but I wanted to do a little bit of detail with this instead of just kind of chopping it off so we're gonna incorporate some of the previous project we're gonna do some feathers we're not gonna do anything fancy we might do more the most simplest ones and go from there you can just leave it like that cut the ends and it will be fine but I wanted to add something more. So, so I'm gonna create the macrame feathers that I did on my previous project. If you wanna see on detail how to make these, I'm just gonna fast forward through this step. We'll link that video on the top. I think it's the right it's gonna be and down below on the description. Okay, I think I lost the footage, but basically I have all kinds of color beads. I wanted them one color, so I spray painted them copper. So we're gonna have all the same color beads. Okay, so, or this is what I ended up with after I put all the beads and uh, the macrame feathers. I only did like four of them and just scattered them in different levels. But I wanted a little bit more. I wanted to add some of my favorite color that's teal. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how I did that. Okay, so you're gonna do need the cat hairbrush to make sure your strands are the way you want them because that's how they're gonna stay. I'm gonna use this shock paint and Mod Podge and I'm gonna mix them together to create a, for it to just kind of stay steady in the same shape that I want it. I actually seen this from another YouTuber last week and she actually used school glue but I kind of thought something happened. I think uh, Mod Podge would be more waterproof so this is what you do you just 
put the color in and what I'm going inside with is just plain Mod Podge just to create that seal for the leaf to actually stay in the shape that I want it to be instead of just flopping over. Okay, so now I'm done. I'm just going to put them all together in, on this because I need to relocate this before my cats decide to play with them. This is the final product. I hope you like it. I, it turned out beautiful, actually, by itself without even painting the bottom mm -hmm. pieces, but that was the touch that I wanted to give it for myself. Now, if you like this video, don't if you haven't yet, don't forget to like, subscribe if you like this kinds of crafting. I do a different variety. I don't just do macrame, but if you do like all kinds of crafting, you can subscribe and ring the notification bell so every time I upload a new video, you will get notified. Thank you for your support and see you next time.